Hey everybody, welcome. It's uh, Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com and today is Wednesday, August 23rd. So I wanted to do a quick market update because um, seeing some, some kind of a pattern on the, on the S&P and so it's worth uh, looking at it a little more closely. And if you recall about uh, two updates ago, I said that this 2500 might be a, uh, a pretty good uh, resistance point and of course this is a, the ES let's take a look at the SPX uh, it didn't quite get there but you can see of course you know it, markets never will be like perfect to the dot but this is pretty close 2490 I would have expected it to go may perhaps a little bit higher about three to five points higher but this is good enough because this uh, you can see it's, it was a bar that was rejected very strongly from its uh, top and uh, ended more towards the bottom. But we have to go back to the ES because of volume information. And so here the volume was high. Uh, that was this bar. I'm sorry. Here you can see this one. There was no seemed like there was no uh, you know any upside interest anymore as far as the volume. But of course, some of this you can only know by hindsight. Here, it uh, it, it got it got rejected, not on not on very high volume. But then you have now you we've started seeing some very uh, big range bars. Okay, so basically, what's that telling us is, and really the study that will tell you that properly is uh, the ATR average to range. And if we put that and take out money flow and apply. Okay, see you can see that the average true range has started increasing. So basically what this is saying is uh, the average true range is now 17 points on the uh, ES which is which would be the same as the S&P. So it's about 17 points on a daily basis. So which is pretty high, you know, and so that's the kind of movement we are seeing in the S&P. And so what kind of trades would be good for that is uh, obviously a strangle, a straddle that you know big moves on any given day. And the only thing you have to watch out for is the VIX level because if you buy it at a lower VIX and then it goes higher, you know, obviously that's going to be good for us. So here we have the VIX at 12. Yesterday it went up just a little bit. Now, if we look at the uh, options for the S&P and let's see how we can play this because it's a good opportunity when we have an average to range that's pretty high. So if you see the two days, uh, the one that's expiring now this Friday is plus or minus 16. Then that's only one uh, standard deviation. So here, if we go out one more, this would be next uh, Monday and this would be Wednesday and this would be Friday, I think, or Thursday. So you need to go out a little bit, to, to but then you're going to pay high uh, option prices as well. So Let's go somewhere over seven days, one week. Uh, let's say this is like a one week trade. And right now it's at 24.50. Of course, the S&P futures are down today, eight points. So let's say it's at 24.45. So in that case, um, 10 points out would be 24.35 and 10 points out over here would be. Yeah, so totally your, your strangle might cost us about 11 to 12 dollars. Okay, so fairly expensive. You know, of course, you can decide the number of contracts, but uh, just to see how that goes, I'm going to put the straddle, the strangle on. Uh, I'm going to wait for the open because there's quite, going to be quite a bit of movement. So I don't know what the prices are, but a strangle here might make sense. And once it starts moving to one side, we can try to get some uh, uh, premium theta decay from some of these earlier uh, series here. So. The average true range, I think, is moving up, and that's what we have to keep in, keep in mind. And if we have a good day, like two days ago, we had a good day. If you see the charts, yeah, this was a good day. And so the VIX would have come down quite a bit here. That's the time to go for the strangle. All right. So we missed that, of course. I missed it too because I was like tied up with the move and everything. But uh, here we are. So, you know, even now, I think it's not too bad. Let's see what the VIX level is after the market opens and a strangle might make sense. Thanks.